pretty. And uh, one of the individuals who has been re-elected back in office is uh, Muranga Governor-elect Mwangi Wairia. And uh, now joining us live from Muranga, because today we do expect... Um, uh, the Muranga governor elect to be sworn in. And now, just to tell us more from the ground, we're now joined by our reporter Carol Derry. Carol, good, uh, good morning, and uh, what is happening on the ground? Good morning, Hassan. This is Ihora Stadium at the heart of Muranga County. This is where the swearing in ceremony of the governor elect Mwangi Wairia is expected to commence any time now. As you can see, guests are still streaming in, uh, ready for this particular ceremony that is of course a big deal for the people of Moranga County, bearing in mind that this is the second stop that uh, Mwangi Wairia is giving at the gubernatorial seat. He was the governor even in the last government and the people of Moranga did elect him again. And it is interesting to note that he did not have that many or those many competitors uh, like in other uh, counties. The scenario did not replicate itself here in Moranga County. The only opponent that he had this time is Dr. Moses Mwangi, a pharmacist. Uh, earlier on, before the elections commenced, uh, you can remember that Jamlek Kamau uh, had also wanted to be the Moranga governor, but when he lost at the primaries, he decided not to continue. He did not buy as an independent ca candidate, as was seen in other counties where those who lost the primaries decided to run for the seat on, uh, or as independent candidates. Here in Moranga County, um, Jamle Kamau would have probably given Mwangiweri a run for his money, given the scenario of politics then. Uh, th this did not happen. So Mwangiweri, this is the second term. And uh, perhaps maybe for us to understand the scope of Moranga politics better, let us uh, talk to our very own Boniface Kekandi. He's a writer for the Standard newspaper here in Moranga County. And he understands the politics of Moranga County. So he'll be telling us more about uh, the scope of politics in Moranga County. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Boniface Kekandi. The politics in Moranga County, you have been here a while. What are the intrigues here? The intrigues of Moranga is that uh, people in Moranga, they just want a reader who will just deliver to the expectation. If at all you fail to deliver to the expectation, at, at any level, they reject you at, at, during the general elections. Okay. Uh, interestingly, Mwangi Wairia did not have many competitors this time, as seen in other counties where there were three, four, five people. Tell us about the competitors that he had and why, in your opinion, there were not many people who were are in the very same seat. In my opinion is that uh, Mwangi Wairia, during the nomination, he faced uh, one Jamri Kikamau, the former Kigumu MP, who after he suffered a major defeat, he, he concentrated in the presidential campaign in various parts of the country, as it was part of the Jubilee Party agreement, that those people who will lose the election, uh, they'll be considered. But Jamrik took an initiative to, to participate in the re-election campaign of President Uhuru, Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. How does the county assembly look so far? I remember that uh, Mwangi Wairia, in the last uh, administration, he had suffered a bit of a setback when the members of the county assembly tried to impeach him. Is it a friendly county assembly now, in your opinion, or you're yet to probably get to know exactly who is who in this new government? Uh, at, the, at the county assembly, many of them are newcomers. Only three people managed uh, a comeback. Um, manage the comeback. So we are expecting it will be a, a real county assembly where we expect opposi a, a tough opposition. Okay. Yes. And those who had given Mwangi Wairia perhaps uh, sleepless nights during the impeachment debacle, what are the reasons they were citing? And do you think now, with the second stab at the gubernatorial seat, he will address some of these things if at all they were true? Uh, during the impeachment, Mwangi faced about 27 counts that uh, there's the Senate uh, brushed them aside and Mwangi Wairia became the winner and he concentrated. But interestingly, one of his uh, opponent, Mir Waidera, managed to sail through the Jubilee nomination and now he's the MP elect for Maragua. So we expect so, those issues that uh, they brought, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the assembly concern, they will be addressed this time, especially the completion of the many projects that were left... Uh, they were left incomplete. 
Yes. Gikandi, which leaders have managed to come back and we, who are the new ones? I know the senator is new, but the woman rep, Sabina, is, uh, has retained her seat with her slogan, Maitoda Shejagyo, loosely translates to, we do not change our mom. Yeah. Could you just bring us up to speed about who, who the new leaders are and who retained their seats? The new leaders we have, it's only Aris Wahome, the MP Kandara retained. These others, Muturi Kegano is a new elect MP for Kangema, Peter Kimari Madioya, Peter um, Dende Nyoro Keharu, Maragua is Meru Waidera, the former nominated MCA. In Gatanga we have uh, engineer Joseph Unduati, who defeated uh, Humphrey Njuguna, the former MP who, who was christened uh, on Hosafi. And then um, in Kegumo, we have the former KPC UMD, Ruth, Ruth uh, Wangari Mwaneki. So we have a, a crop of new readers in Moranga. So we expect them, first of all, according to the wish of the people, they have a, cons a meet a forum where they can uh, they can have a, they can strategize for to develop the region as per the expectation of the locals. Okay, lastly, Gikand, before perhaps we talk to a few residents here, what are some of the things that he needs to look at critically? Uh, him and his new administration, what are some of the issues? I know this is an agricultural zone, uh, similar to other regions in central Kenya. So what particular issues? The major issues is uh, Mwangi will, will uh, have to concentrate on agriculture projects and youth empowerment. Look at coffee. Coffee is uh, the major cash crop for the region, but farmers are suffering. The issue of raw payment, some are paid better. So Mwangi will have to look at the agriculture sector. And more critically, in the lower side of uh, Moranga, millions of billions of shillings have been set aside by the national, national and the county governments. So he needs to look at the, agri the horticulture farming which is a major income earner for the few in the lower, the lower region. Okay, very enlightening. Thank you, Gekandi. We'll be talking to you later so that you can inform our viewers more about the scope of Moranga politics and the intrigues. Let us hear from some of the residents, the expectations. How are you? Uh, Kindly tell us your name and what your expectations are now with the new Moranga government. Okay, my name is uh, Joseph Kamenju. From, my name is uh, Joseph Kamenju from Itubiri Kakuzi Ward. Nanga. Na matarijio yetu sana sana sisi wa kaji wa hapa Muranga, tuna matarajio tunaona kutakuwa kwa na mabadiliko kubwa, especially kwa upande wa kilimo. Because misi tunatoka loa gatanga, mahali na ito mitubiri kakuzi wad, na ni mahali pakavu. Na in fact tunajua ya kwamba, gabana wetu mwangi wa iria, this time atatuangalia ata sana, na ataingiza mefikira zake zote kwa upande wa, 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 wa kilimo, pia ata, ata elimu. Elimu tunaizitaji sana ili kuinua watoto wetu na waishi katika wayo na elimu ya kuijenga inchi yetu. Okay. Sawa, sawa. Asante sana. Watuipatia mendugu mungine nafasi. Unaitua nani? Would you prefer English or Kiswahili? Both. Any is okay. All right. As a resident of Moranga, what are your expectations? Uh, I'm James Kamau from uh, Moranga County, Kahura Sub County. For me, I expect the Moranga County now, the leaders to work together. Because at first we, uh, we, we, we experienced a lot of fight from the senator to the MPs and the MCAs. So we would prefer to see them working together and also uh, everybody to know his work. Because last time there was like... You see, MCA, Wanavita, wana MP, uh, Senator, and the Governor. And uh, finally, I would also prefer to see the Senator doing his work, not only like fighting, also to try to help us, we get civilized to know the office of Senator. Because for now, we have seen our, 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 the former Senator, Amanda Nyubani, kwa sababu, Watu wameona amekuwa kipigana na governor throughout. So we would like to... Weleza wa Kenya, Senator Mpia wa Moranga nani? Buona kangata? Anaito Irogo kangata. Na tunamuoba tafadhari akuja afanya kazi na governor mwagi wa iria. MCA nao wafanya kazi na governor mwagi wa iria. Kwa sababu muriona mpaka alieda impeachment. Hamejaribuwa mabomigi. Lakini wajiko tumeamua tumurudishe. Kwa sababu hile kazi ya metufanya. Asante sana. Ndugu naitua nani na unataka mwangi wa iria na serikali yake wakufanyia nini kama mkazi wa moranga? Ok, kumajiri naitua Patrick Maura Kanyongo kutoka Kachanjiro, e, Kandara. Ningetaka mwangi wa iria na kazi yake mzuri ya baya mefanya. 
na washikane pamoja na viongozi wengine ambao walichaguliwa bila fita bila fitina na naona Mungu atabariki na mrango tutakuwa mbele. Yeah. Sawa, Santi, naona babu hapa hako na t-shirt ya Mwangi wa Iria. Yes, loyalty, as you can see, Mwangi wa Iria. Jubili, tuko pamoja. Aya, naona, naona t-shirt, kwa hivyo, unataka Mwangi wa Iria kusaidia aji? Nini wa wa Iria damu? Kusema ukweli, fitetu wa metedea muranga, hata kugia kuwa nini yao nini, hatu gia muachiria. Vitendo kama gani? Kwa mana, wa Iria ameangalia, wajiku wa hapa chini. Ule anatabu ame igia dakika kumuinua. Katika tauni hii kulikuwa ata akina dada madam kama wewe. Walikuwa kitabika kushugulikia tu wanaume wao. Lakini leo alikuwa patia kazi. Wanauza kila pahali. Wameweza kujinumia sabuni, mafuta, ata amelebeka. Sawa, vizuri, aya, mwisho kabisa. Na mambo ya kilimo, mambo ya barabara, maji, ziko sawa? Ametenda hayo, na nafikia atatenda saidi. Kwa mana, si tulisema, tutamurudisha kwa yare tumejironea. Asante sana, asante. Asante. Thanks. What's your name? Naitua Pastor Thomas Kariuki, na nimetoka katika Kamahua Ward. Kamahua Ward tumekuwa tumeshikilia mwangi wa iria ni kwa sababu ya vitendo zake mzuri ambazo wamekuwa kitendea kaunti hii ya Muranga. Watu wengi hawangeona lakini wale wana macho wameona. Ile kitu nahimiza mwangi wa iria atutendee sasa ni kilio cha wagonjwa wa mahospitalini. Mahospitali zetu ziko na shida sababu hata saa hii hakuna matibabu inaendelea. Kwa hivyo naomba zile machines ambazo rais alihimiza kila revo 5 iwe nazo atuombe zikuje sawa sawa tukimaliza ya maji maji yametuwekea pale kama hoha ward okay sawa sawa tutazungumza zaidi baadaye uh, okay. anaomba nafasi ya kuongea kwa kifupi kwa sababu muda umekwisha oh, sawa <laughs> eh, kwa majina yangu naitwa Franco Dambiri kutoka mkoa mdogo wa Kangema wadi ya Kanyaini eh, kwa ufupi sana vile nikataka kusema ni kuambia gavana wetu ni asanti kwa vile ametusaidia sisi vijana alikuwa ametuleta hapa hapa tuko na watu yani rehabilitation na alitusaidia sana baadaye oh rehabilitation wewe ni mmoja wa wale walifaidika e, mimi ni mmoja wao na vile umeniona nafurahia sana juu huyu huyu governor mimi sijawahi ona mtu mwingine kama yeye. Okay, vizuri. Umesema ulikuwa katika ile rehabilitation program. Ni pombe ilikuwa imekuathiri ama nini? E, ni pombe na sigara. E. Sasa umeacha pombe na sigara? Nimeacha na governor amenipeleka kwa course huko Kilanga Polytechnic na nimesaidika sana juu nimesomea course ya prabing. Sasa nafurahia sana kwa governor mwangu ile kwa governor wetu. Sawa, asante sana. Asante na kutakia kila laheri. Asante. We've had sentiments from the residents of Moranga County, uh, what they'd like done by Mwangi Wairia, some of the challenges he might have faced last time, including impeachment, that now there needs to be harmony between the executive and the county assembly. Perhaps uh, because of the music that has been played, we can just pan and show you the tents and the people coming in. The ceremony is expected to uh, start probably under half one hour, so we'll be here covering that for you. These are the tents. Uh, it is a sunny day in Moranga County, so at least people will get a place to shield themselves from the scorching sun. That is the entrance where people are coming in from. So once this particular ceremony starts, we'll be here. We are at Ihora Stadium in Moranga County, and we'll update you on what is transpiring here as far as the swearing-in ceremony of the governor-elect, Mwangi Wairia. Back to your studio.
And I thanks Carol for that. Of course, this is a man who survived several impeachment motions from the county assembly. It will be interesting to find out how exactly is going to win the support of the county assembly this time round. Of course, we're going to link up with Carol Derry once the swearing in of the Moranga's governor elect begins. And he's not the only one who's going to be sworn into office today. We have a host of other governors. We have uh, Martin Wambora from Embu. We have uh, Joseph Lenko from Kajiado. Kiraito Murunge from Meru uh, Tuaha who is the governor.